College basketball, Kennesaw, Georgia. The Stetson Hatters set to square off with Kennesaw State in an early season Atlantic Sun Conference matchup. KSU Convocation Center first half. Owls trailing 7-3. Hugo Obaneki buries the three-point shot. That started a 9-0 run by Kennesaw State. The Owls led by five midway through the first half. Stetson answers off the missed shot. Jaleel Raleigh throws a one-handed bounce pass up ahead to Mohamedou Jawara. He lays it in. 15 points, nine boards in the game for Jawara. Later in the first, game tied at 13. Terrell Burden drives to the rack, no good, but Hugo Obaneki is there to clean it up. He had the hot hand early, scoring 12 of the Owls' first 15 points. Back the other way, Stetson works the high pick and roll. Rob Perry on the dribble drive, off the glass and in. The Hatters led 18 to 15. Perry led Stetson with 16 points. Kennesaw State now, Jamie Lewis goes to work. Hesitation, the step back jumper, good. The Owls pulled to within two, Lewis led all scores with 21. Closing seconds of the first half, Obaneki misfires from the top of the key. Christian Jones collects the loose rebound and gets it up ahead to Jalen Crutchfield. He attacks the rim and scores as the horn sounds. Stetson took a 25-21 lead to the locker room. Second half action, Hugo Obaneki powers his way into the paint. No call, Bryson Lockley pulls down the basketball and goes right back up with it. Back-to-back -back buckets for Bryson Lockley. Kennesaw back in front, 33-31. Stetson grabs the momentum right back with the help of Jalil Raleigh. Raleigh into the paint. He hangs and hits. The Hatters now back in front, 40 to 36. Stetson applies the defensive pressure, but Jamie Lewis slices and dices into the front court, then dishes to Pietro Agostini. Basket in the foul. Agostini nets three the hard way. Then it was Hugo Obaneki's turn once again. Adili Kurban drives into the paint. He draws the defense in and kicks it back outside. Obaneki buries another long-range jump shot and finished the game with 19 points. But the Hatters would start to make plays down the stretch. Under four minutes to play, with a shot clock winding down, Rob Perry shakes off his defender and sticks the three. Stetson stretches its lead to seven. Then Jaleel Raleigh gets his hands on the basketball and makes quick work of the Owls' full court press. Joel Kabimba bends the rim with two hands. He scored eight points in the contest. Jaleel Raleigh would not quit. Working in isolation, Raleigh knocks down the contested 19-foot jumper. 55-42, Stetson in control with a 13-point lead with just over a minute to play. The game was not over. Jamie Lewis hits a three, cutting the lead to 10. Lewis hit another three, and after back-to-back -back turnovers by the Hatters, Jamie Lewis goes coast-to-coast -coast for the easy lay-in. 56-54, Kennesaw State trailing now by only two points with less than five seconds to go in the game. The Owls send Rob Perry to the free throw line. He misses the first, makes the second free throw, and with 3.4 seconds to go, Kennesaw State has a chance to send the game into overtime. C.J. Washington gets the ball to Jamie Lewis. He lets it fly, and it's off the mark. Stetson survives. The Hatters escape Kennesaw State with a 57-54 victory. I was proud of how they fought at the end um, because in, in the past, you know, games before this one, we had been kind of giving in, but we continued to fight regardless of what happened. Um, coming into it, I think we just wanted to stay poised and just do whatever we could to stop their main scorers. And we got lucky. We found it. We figured it out, and we just we finished it out. It's a good win for our team, but we have a lot more basketball to play. We got a lot to get better to do. So when we go back to practice, we're gonna get better, and we're gonna keep fighting, keep competing. We got more wins to get.